Greetings, my relatives. My name is uh, Dreamkeeper, and uh, I'm also called uh, Wilfred Buck from Papaskaya Cree Nation in uh, North Central Manitoba. And uh, my helpers are the uh, the wolf, the eagle, the thunderbirds, and the bear. The uh, Matutsan Sweat Lodge it rep represents quite a number of things. First of all, the uh, Sweat Lodge is a place where uh, we go for uh, healing, for centering ourselves, for uh, finding out who we are and uh, where we belong and where we come from. The uh, the word Sweat Lodge is uh, comes from the Cree word, root word, which is maato, and maato means to cry. So Matutsan is the crying for pity lodge. And it's the place where we go for cry, to cry for pity for our relatives, our, our, our young people, our, the, hope, the homeless ones, the helpless ones, the sick ones. And, that, that's, uh, and it was given to us through a little boy named Asiniawas, a stone child. He was the one that went out and fasted for seven days. And he's the one who, ha who received that dream and that sacred ceremony, which he brought back to the people. During a time such as this, when people were sick, when people were scared, when people were hungry, when people were weak, when people were tired, so this is uh, Matutsan is part of that healing process. That's one of the re one of the way one of the things we're told. Another uh, another example you could use is that when you look at that uh, Matutsan, that dome, the way it's built with the willows that are bent, we're told that it represents the the womb of uh, Iskwewak, the womb of the woman, of our mothers, of our, our female relatives. And uh, in there, we, we, uh, when we go in there, they, they welcome us home because that was the first home we ever knew when we came into this reality. When we came into this reality from the spirit world and, the and took the physical form, we, we were in, in, in that sweat lodge of our, of our mother. And we, we knew that darkness, we knew that warmth, we knew the, uh, the, the water that was there. And that was, that was part of who we are. When, when you're introduced in this and, you, and you, uh, you start going to the sweat lodge, right away you'll be asked to help. And once you start helping, and uh, you'll get to know the people that, that are, are doing, the, doing the work, doing the ceremonies. And if you like somebody, if you identify with what they're saying, if you're agreeable to what, what they do and how they present themselves and how they talk and how they treat people, then, and you feel comfortable with that, you pass tobacco to them and you ask if, if it's uh, possible for them to teach you. Our elders showed us what to do and how to do it and what rocks to use, what willows to use, how many to use and how we should build that structure in order to make it sturdy so it doesn't cave in when you're in there. And they showed us these things and these things are physics. These things are physics that they showed us. These things are structural engineering and they showed us that. Okay, put this one under. Hold on, hold on, wait. That's going to go under this. This one? Yeah. Bend it Look, that way, the and then slide it under. And this one too has got to go under. So the structure has to be strong. That's why when we were building it, you see us uh, twisting and weaving those uh, those ribs together. Because when we weave those ribs together, they, they uh, provide support for each other. And then when we tie them, tie them together and twist them, that uh, that's uh, extra strength that's that's uh, given that lodge. And so, so the, the, these things are, are very important. And our people were, were, were quite adept at, at uh, utilizing their environment and, and uh, surviving, especially in regard to the spiritual aspects. Our, our people are very spiritual people. And it is that that carried us on through generation upon generation. One of the best ways to get involved is to, uh, to come and participate. There's uh, sweat lodges happening all the time. And uh, nowadays, in the, in, the, in, in the times we live in, there's sweat lodges right in the city. And there's various organizations that run sweat lodges. And uh, if you just ask around to people that uh, go to ceremony, they'll, they'll uh, gladly invite you to a, to a sweat lodge. And you don't have to participate in the sweat lodge, but even just coming around and being with the community that's there, and it'll give you a sense of belonging, it'll give you a sense of understanding, it'll give you a sense of pride, because you know that your people, this is your people's history, this is your history. To the youth, uh, it's very important that uh, our, our, our youth come back home. Because uh, I've lived that life, and uh, I know those streets, and I know the pain and the hurt and the hate, and the anger that goes with that. And I know that uh, 
our people's history, our people's way of life, our people's belief, our people's ceremony is what saved me. What, why, why I'm alive today.